In this experiment we're going to have a look at the effect of particle size on the rate of a reaction. We have different particle sizes from large lumps to a fine powder and what we're going to do is we're going to try and investigate how the fit of particle size affects the rate of reaction. Let's have a look at the experiment. We're going to have a look at particle size. I've got a small particle here which I'm just going to weigh out on the balance and it comes out at about 1.11. I have some small pieces and that's going to come out at about 1.11. Two, and I have the same amount of powder which is 1.14 so we've got different particle sizes but the same mass we're going to have a look at this in three different ways we're going to measure the reaction on a balance and what we're going to do look at this reaction which is that of calcium carbonate so we're going to take some calcium carbonate and react that with hydrochloric acid acid plus carbonate gives us a salt plus water plus carbon dioxide so we're going to take our calcium carbonate and acid in this conical flask that's going to react to give us calcium chloride some water and the carbon dioxide gas will bubble off and so we will expect this reaction to get lighter so we'll have a look and see how that works we will then try the same experiment using one of these a gas syringe where we will take our experiment and we'll connect this to the gas syringe and it will measure how much gas is given off and we'll also look at this experiment by taking our reaction mixture passing that through a glass tube into a water bath and what we will do is collect that over water we're going to use one of these things a beehive shelf and we'll have our measuring cylinder full of water upside down so that we can collect the carbon dioxide as it's given off let's try each of these and we're going to start with the balance we're going to try the balance with this largest lump and we're going to put that in just into a conical flask and we're going to add some acid right let's tidy out the way ready to start and what I'm going to do since I'm going to use some acid is put on my safety specs hydrochloric acid we're going to use about 25 centimeter cubed it's going to be excess so about doesn't really matter here But for consistency, I'm going to use the same amount in each of the experiments. We'll add the acid. And what I'm going to do is I've got a mass on this balance. I've got a stopwatch 
and all I need to do is place the solid in there and start the stopwatch and record as we go. Let's see what happens. So we have 89.15, 89.14, 13, 13, 14. It's going around a little bit. There we are. It is getting going now. I think 89.13. That's 20 seconds. 89.12. 25 seconds, 89.11, 30 seconds, 89.11 again at 35 seconds, 89.11 at 40 seconds, 89.10 at 45, 89.09 .09 at 52 seconds, was a bit slow there and at 60 seconds 89.08 we've got a feeling for how the reaction's going and we can plot that on a graph let's stop this experiment now and we can see that it is reacting but it is reacting reasonably quickly I suppose we've got bubbles being given off but it's not terribly fast let's look at this reaction another way I've got this clamped in a retort stand because it's quite a delicate piece of equipment and I've got a little arm here on this flask and we'll get this at the right level I'm going to connect this tubing up and I've used a fairly short piece of tubing and there is our experiment set up ready to go as the reaction progresses so we'll be able to measure on the gas syringe how it goes let's take some acid again we're going to use 25 centimeter cubed of acid we our stopwatch ready and we have in this case small pieces we would expect this to run faster than the large piece ready here we go so we're getting gas produced and we can see this moving along so at 15 seconds we have 24 20 seconds we had 38 25 seconds we've got 51 30 seconds we have 62 35 seconds we had 71 40 seconds we've got 76 45 seconds we have 85 50 seconds we've got 94 55 seconds we got a hundred at that point we might as well stop the reaction because my syringe won't record anymore our third way is probably the most commonly used because in many schools each student can't be given a balance because there aren't enough and gas syringes cost a lot and are very delicate so in many schools the way this experiment is done is to collect the gas produced over water 
and what I've got here is a trough of water and what we're going to do is we're going to take our beehive shelf place it into the water make sure there are no bubbles in there and then what we're going to do is we're going to take this measuring cylinder we're going to fill it with water and then place it over the top now this gives quite a lot of students quite a challenge filling this up because I usually try and make sure I give them a trough that it won't fit in and this gives a problem so the way of getting around this is to fill this up from the tap with water and then to place some cling film over the top and see how it goes let's fill this up right to the top and then what I'm going to do is place a piece of cling film carefully over the top ensuring I get no air bubbles in there and we're now ready to put that in let's now turn it upside down put it into the water and I'm going to clamp it very loosely I'm then going to remove the cling film so no air bubbles get in and then I'm going to manoeuvre the beehive shelf so that it is right over the measuring cylinder I'm going to turn the measuring cylinder around so I can see the graduations on it I've got a piece of glass that I've previously bent to go into the beehive shelf and what I want to do is make sure that that little piece underneath is directly under the hole then we can connect this up we're ready to go all I need now is my powder of calcium carbonate my acid and I'm going to put in 25 mils the same amount of acid each time to keep the experiment consistent acids in there stopwatch at the ready let's put the powder in and this is going to go quickly so five seconds I've got 20 10 seconds 30 15 seconds we've got 50 20 seconds 55 25 seconds 75 30 seconds at 85 35 seconds at 94 and at 40 seconds we've reached 100 and we can stop the experiment because again the measuring cylinder has run out of graduations the powder it's nearly finished reacting so there are three ways of trying to do exactly the same experiment either using collecting over water using a gas syringe or using a balance doesn't matter which one we use the same effect is seen each time with the particle size being very small the rate of reaction runs very quickly with a medium size particle it runs medium 
and with a large particle it seems to run the slowest. So that's the effect of particle size on the rate of a reaction and looking at three ways to do it.